music video. How come our cut didn't make it? It felt so good. What's going on? That song. Archie Diacono looked like one of the Beastie Boys. <laughs> Villanova making their way out onto the court here at Madison Square Garden. Uh, by the way, every prop for that video was borrowed from Kevin O'Neill's <laughs> closet. Rob Stone, KO, Donnie Marshall back here with you. Both of you guys know all about these big type settings. Uh, what are your quick thoughts on how this one's going to go down? Steinbrook, Reynolds, and Farr for Xavier dominate on the front line. They upset Villanova. They win the game. The prospect of losing drives some to greatness. I think the athleticism of Villanova is going to drive them to greatness and win this game. Xavier's never won a Big East tournament title. Villanova last did it. 20 years ago. Now let's send it out to our public address announcer, Mr. Ron Kish. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise and remove your caps? Here to perform the national anthem, please welcome Anna Negron. Oh, say can you see dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gay Gentlemen, welcome to Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. Tonight's championship game in the 2015 Big East Tournament is between the number 16, Xavier Musketeers, and the number one seed, Villanova Wildcats. And now, let's see tonight's starting lineup. First, for the Musketeers, the Xavier. At forward, a 6'6 six -six freshman, number five, Trevon Blewett. At forward, a 6'10 junior, number two, James Farr. At center, a 6'10 senior, number 40, Matt Stabrook. At guard, a 6'4 junior, number 10, Remy Eagles. And at guard, a 6'0 senior, number 11, D. David. The Musketeers are coached by Chris Mack. And now, for the Wildcats, 
of Villanova. At forward, a 6'11 junior, number 23, Daniel Ochepu. At forward, a 6'7 senior, number 22, Javon Pinkston. At guard, a 6'3 junior, number 15, Ryan Archie Diacono. At guard, a 6'2 junior, number 31, Dylan Henning. And at guard, a 6'6 junior, number 4, Darren Hillier. By Jay Wright. If this game is half as good as the national anthem in the intros were, you're going to be pleasantly, pleasantly pleased about this one. We'll see you next at halftime. Now to Gus Johnson and Jim Jackson for the call. All right, Rob, thank you very much. This is what it's about. They're playing Jimmy for all the marbles here at the Big East Championship. Villanova handled Xavier easily during the regular season. What are we expecting to see tonight? It'll be interesting to see if Xavier can guard the three-point line much better. And their two losses giving up over 44% shooting to Villanova. But also, we got out of here late last night. After 12 midnight, will the weary legs of uh, Xavier have an effect? Will Villanova get out and run early? All right. This will also be a battle between the two big guys. Matt Stainbrook, folks, he's got that YMCA game. He was awesome yesterday. And Daniel Oshepu, what a performance. And they will battle each other this evening. But look for the ball to go in early and often to Matt Stainbrook to see if he can create some offense. Excellent passer out of the post. Now let's check in with the third member of our team for some injury news. Here's Molly McGrath. Thank you, Gus. Villanova coach Jay Wright told me that guard Ryan Archie Diacono re-aggravated a rib injury, diving for a loose ball in last night's win over Providence. He has a couple of bruised ribs and underwent treatment after the game. Archie Diacono had a heating pad on his ribs during warm-ups, but told me that he's fine and won't be limited at all tonight. As for Xavier, their guard J.P. McCura will not play after twisting his right ankle in yesterday's win over Georgetown. He'll be on the bench in a boot, and Coach Chris Mack said that their priority is getting him healthy for the NCAA tournament. Gus, Jim? All right, thank you very much, Molly. And as you take a look at McCura, what a performance, 8 points in 7 minutes. Uh, the freshman just really knocking it down, unavailable. Ed Corbett, James Breeding, Jeff Anderson. Far a shuffle in the circle, and it's controlled by the Wildcats. Ryan Archie Diacono. Right away, Gus. Let's see the attack mode for Villanova early, testing the legs of Xavier. Dylan Ennis, deep jump shot, and he rattled it home. Dylan Ennis, two monster games against Xavier, 17 and 6, with four assists in January, 16 and 5 and 5 in the rematch. And remember, we had that game. He came out on fire, set the tone for that Nova squad early in that game, Gus. Remy Abel feeding Matt Stainbrook. Back to Abel. James Barr there for the rebound, claims it. Abel now driving the Indiana transfer, lost it out of bounds, and will head the other way. So let's take a look at the bracket here, the 2015 Big East Tournament. Villanova somehow managed to beat Providence to advance. Xavier, after being up by 21, almost coughed it up against Georgetown. Never easy to get to the championship game, let alone win it. And a Shepu on the baseline. He's called for traveling. And, that, and that's where that big body comes into effect. Now Chris Mack 
45 years old in his sixth year, and he said on playing Villanova, it's the contrast of our traditional front court lineup versus their four quick line when Josh Hart is in the game. Also, their coach dresses better than me. <laughs> the major difference. D. Davis, he is their leader. Can hit some big shots as well. Now Abel driving to the basket, lays it up, and draws a foul from behind. Excellent recognition that time by Abel. GQ J. Wright, 53 years old in his 14th year at Villanova. And this is his first Big East tournament title game. He wants it more than anything. Remy Abel. Struggled with his shot during this tournament. He's got a fracture on his right hand. And if you can take a look at Brian Lilly, our terrific director, he's got those two fingers taped up. When he taped them up for yesterday's game, he shot the ball much better. As he misses two free throws, but Stainbrook gets the offensive rebound. Always has an effect on the shooter, more so mentally than physically, when you do have an injury on your shooting hand. Davis inside, Javon Pinkston guarding back door. Abel, reverse layup, good. And that's one of the things that Xavier has to do, Gus. They have to figure out a way against this staunch Nova defense to get easy baskets. Villanova won its 14th game in a row last night and its school record 31st win of the season, defeating Providence College. Baseline stolen away by far. Second turnover. Here's Abel in transition. He's excellent here. Up and in. He's a gazelle, folks. Remy Abel. And he gives Xavier a 4-3 to three lead. Now the Wildcats uh, Villanova handed Xavier two of its three worst losses of the season, 88-75 and 78-66 in Cincinnati. Pick and roll in, it's down the lane hard, right hand up and in. And we say he's got those Dwight Howard <laughs> shoulders and he's a guard. Always able to get those shoulders between the defenders and so strong to finish at the rim through contact. 5-4. Villanova. Now D. Davis guarded by Darren Hilliard. Far elbow, jump shot off the back rim. Archie Diakono clears it. And here comes the arch. Cole, most valuable player of the tournament, right hand runner off the window. No, D. Davis will rake it. Archie Diakono diving on those tender ribs. Davis gets to the hole. The floater, no. Far can't tip it in. Cross court, Hilliard. And a whistle and foul, and it'll go against Blewett. Sore ribs and all. Archie Diakono, reckless abandon. It doesn't matter. This game means so much to this program, to these individuals. Archie Diakono will worry about the ribs a little bit later. Man, what a game. Hilliard, short. Oshefu kept it alive and gets the offensive rebound. Dante Diakono, 15-foot pull-up off the dribble. Nice off the heel. No. Another offensive rebound. Ennis downtown. And finally, Blewett claims it. He's got Davis on the wing. Blewett straight down the lane. Right hand up. No. Great pace to start. Officials letting him play. And we've got three of the best, led by Ed Corbett, refereeing his 18th Big East Tournament. And the pace, tell you Gus, is on the side of Villanova. Pick and roll, in a step back, 17. Javon Pinkston had a hand on it, but Farr boxed him out and takes it away. Farr known as a shooter, but excellent job rebounding in the last two games for Farr. 5-4. Now Ennis guarding Davis. Blewett, the freshman, averages 12 a game. Davis, Stainbrook, almost stripped. Big fella, rejected by a shuffle. He had a career high time, five blocks against Providence yesterday. And he's been playing some excellent basketball. We've got a mismatch. Pinkston being guarded by D. Davis, and we've seen that a couple of times already. We have, but they couldn't get the ball inside. So, 
15-02 to play, first half, one-point game, and they're playing for the Big East Tournament Trophy. A lot on the line. Big East Tournament Championship, exclusively on Fox Sports 1, presented by New York Life. Our score, 5-4, Villanova on top of Xavier. And it's the 2015 Big East Tournament Championship, and in attendance tonight are kids from the Boys and Girls Clubs. And the winner here will join these teams that have already advanced. How about Harvard punching their ticket? Iowa State with the win over Kansas. Tournament time, Gus. How about Tommy Amaker in the Crimson? What a program he's building at Harvard. Heading to the NCAA tournament once again. But our score, 5-4. Wildcats on top of the Musketeers. What have you seen thus far? Well, I've seen the up and down pace again. Xavier responding pretty well to playing late last night. Open shots for both teams. Offensively, the rhythm is not there. But let's see which team can settle in first and begin to knock down some shots. Dylan Ennis with five points. For Villanova, Remy Abel with four. Now, Josh Hart comes in the game, and he has been excellent in this Big East tournament. He's the conference's sixth man of the year with the ball right now. Instant offense, especially from behind the three-point line. Hilliard finds Pinkston. Pinkston dipping in, hard shot over Reynolds, and it goes down. And that's over a player that has the height advantage, but because Pinkston has that big, strong body, he's able to create enough space to get that shot up. Javon Pinkston playing at home. He's from Brownsville, Brooklyn, New York. Family in attendance. Here's Jalen Reynolds, right hand up and in, and he continues to just improve every moment we see him. And that's a favorite play of Xavier to slip that screen with a nice pass over the top to an athletic Reynolds inside. Only a sophomore, eight points, five rebounds against Georgetown last night. Javon Pinkston slipping to the basket, got it up and in. And that's a great sign to get Javon Pinkston going. It really is, but it's so tough, Gus, to guard the pick and roll in the middle of the court because you don't have help opportunity. That time, excellent location of the pass inside the Pinkston. Javon Pinkston, honorable mention, all Big East and an offensive foul coming up against Xavier. Well, here's the strong body. Just that space allows now Pinkston to get inside. And Jalen Reynolds right here, going to little slip screen right here, and the ball delivered on time, able to catch and finish. And Pinkston not done yet. Brooklyn stand up. Give me the easy two inside. Two points, three rebounds against Providence last night. Had nine points, a couple of steals against Marquette. But more importantly, Blewett picked up his second foul. He has to hit the bench. He's a leading scorer at 12. Josh Hart, the teardrop goes down. And once again, because of the threat of the three-point shot, the ball fake works. One dribble, you get to your sweet spot. Nice little floater for Hart. 11 to 6. So where is the scoring going to come from for Xavier? Reynolds, mid-range jump shot. Short. Ennis goes up high. Lobbed inside. Pinkston, great catch to save it from going out of bounds to a cutting heart who lays it in. 10-2 run for Villanova to take a 13-6 lead. Josh Hart has led the team in scoring in both tournament games. Now Abel blocked by Hart. Look at the intensity on the defensive end by the Villanova Wildcats not letting any breathing room for Xavier. D. Davis, step back, jump shot, pure. This young man has the heart of a lion. He is their senior leader at the point. First bucket of the game. A little zone defense right here, a little 1-3-1 one, one to switch up the matchups and assignments, but you have to be close to the three-point shooter. Archie Diakono, deep three, off the rim. And Miles Davis pulls down the rebound. In the corner, Abel. James Farr there for the offensive rebound. Now Miles Davis. 
Xavier not shooting it well from the perimeter to start. 4 of 12 from the field. Baseline, Phil Booth. Freshman out of Baltimore. Nice look, pinks it, and he's fouled. Josh Hart stepping up big time. May be a six-man, but plays like a starter. Nice little floater inside, and we talked about it last night. There's only one player that could be a heartbreaker, and that's Josh Hart. 11.42 to play in the first half. Villanova, the top seed, leading Xavier 13-8 at the world's most famous arena. 13-8. Villanova on top of Xavier. Now let's go inside the huddle with GQJ. Listen, that's all we got to think about. Don't, they're sending so many people to the glass. Don't worry about the attacks. Don't worry about the attacks. Worry about getting rebounds. Great job getting on the glass. Great job defensively. And when you talk to Jay Wright's assistant coaches, the first thing they tell you is that Jay has a whole lot of style, but he's a brilliant basketball coach. It's the substance that's there. And he understands his team, more importantly, what they need to do to win. You heard right there. You get the rebound, you can get out and run. Okay? And that's why they've been so successful this year, and they're the true essence of a team. Javon thinks that here's a young man that had to sacrifice much of his offensive game for the team. And at times, he's looked a little lost out there. How much psychology goes into coaching players? Every individual is different. What one coach may do for me as a player may be different for another person. you got to figure out how to push that player, communicate with that player, because we're all different, different personalities, different backgrounds. Second free throw good as Javon Pinkston comes out of the game. Chris Jenkins comes in now. He's a sharpshooter. Where's number two, White? D. Davis guarded by Phil Booth. Abel guarded by Dylan Ennis. Now Stainbrook has it knocked away. And out of bounds, Chris Jenkins hustling on the play. And Jenkins giving up a little bit of size, but great anticipation of where the ball was entering from. Able to deflect the pass. Almost was able to save it, diving out of bounds. Now Xavier, a much better team when they run everything through Stainbrook. Well, because he can do so many things, yes. He can score, but he's also an excellent playmaker. D. Davis pump fake, drives inside, finds Stainbrook, left hand up, and in. D. Davis, a wise point guard. He knows that he has to keep the big man's hands full. Davis with four assists already. That was a tight pass in traffic, but what about the catch by Stainbrook and finish? Now Xavier in the zone. Ennis, mid-range jumper. Tell you what, we got some tight rims at the Garden. They used to be soft when you played, Jimmy. I'm trying to tell you. Those shots usually go in, but to get in good looks, you got to continue to take them. And Stainbrook almost threw it away. Jalen Reynolds jump hook inside. No. Loose ball rebounded by Jenkins. Xavier getting good looks at the basket. Booth takes a three. Villanova, Villanova, one of five from the three-point line to start this game. Abel in the corner. Miles Davis finds Jalen Reynolds trying to create space. I tell you, guys, the rotations right now for Villanova are just smothering. And a foul coming up. Stainbrook putting it on the deck going baseline. And that'll be Jenkins. Sometimes, guys, you got to be a little tricky with your passes. And right here, a little school pass. But look at the catch, gather, and finish. Not a lot of elevation. But able to kiss it off the glass for two. Matt Stainbrook named second team all Big East. Had 20 points, nine rebounds, and two steals last night against Georgetown. Jalen Reynolds now, he's fouled by Booth as Villanova tries to deny the post. Would you say that Xavier has the advantage inside? No, no doubt, and you see on the play right here, look at this, the collapsing defense, and you know Villanova understands that's the strength of this Xavier team. And if you can get the ball out of their hands, back on the perimeter, force them to beat you over the top, that plays into the defensive mindset of Villanova. 
Larry Austin Jr. checks in. He's a freshman point guard. Number zero with the ball right now. Guarded by Hart. Draws a double team. Picks it up. Davis straightaway three. And out of bounds. So Xavier starting this game 5 of 15 from the field, 0 for 4 from the three-point line. But they have had slow starts in this tournament. 14-10. Baseline jump shot. That's an air ball for Jenkins. Into the hands of Hart. Hilliard downtown. Got it. Bethlehem steal. Darren Hilliard from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, his first bucket of the game. And that's a welcoming sign. He's in the two games, Gus. Hilliard is only one for ten from behind the arc, so you love to see that go down for that young man. Xavier has to be careful. They are prone to going into scoring drops. Especially with Blewett on the bench. And a kick ball will stay right here. Excellent contest of the first three-point shot. Long shots produce long rebounds. Cam's out, and you meant Bethlehem still able to step right in, too. Smooth lefty out there shooting by the Fox side. Fox side on the court. That's deep range. Wow. Chicken roll. Austin. He's solid. Miles Davis. Baseline jump shot, Stainbrook couldn't get it up high enough. Stripped out of play, nicely done by Miles Davis as he bangs the ball off the knee of Oshefu. Man, where did the ball come? Oshefu brought it down to where Miles Davis could pick it right away. You always want to keep the ball high, look for an outlet. Number one rule for a big man, protect but keep it high. Here's Miles Davis from Plainfield, New Jersey. Goes to the basket right hand up and in. They need him, especially with Makura, the talented sharp shooting freshman, unavailable tonight with the ankle injury. And that takes a shooter off the court, but you see Miles Davis head down, downhill. Excellent finisher at the rim. Booth takes a three. Austin with the rebound. He finds D. Davis streaking up the floor. Austin. Jalen Reynolds really working hard. And Chris Jenkins fronting him. Now Austin. Ten to shoot. Here's Stainbrook, give and go, D. Davis, no. Reynolds kept it alive, out of play, and Xavier will get it again. And Davis, D. Davis, frustrated with himself for missing that layup. 17-12, Nova, back after this. All right, they're playing for that trophy. The Big East Tournament title on the line as we look at the game summary. And yeah, neither team shooting lights out yet, still trying to find the rhythm, but Villanova in their secondary break, able to get some easy baskets early. And we talked about Xavier's slow starts. Well, versus Butler, they started 2 for 13. Versus Georgetown yesterday, they started 4 for 18. Tonight, they're starting 6 of 18. But Chris Mack, who's just a wonderful basketball coach, an intense coach, Great strategy, was a player at Xavier. He knows how to get his guys going. And you do that, Gus, too, by having your defense stay steady and hold the course. That allows your offense to slowly come back around. That's why they've been able to get back in those games when they trailed early. D. Davis, Stainbrook, Jalen Reynolds, Larry Austin, Miles Davis for Xavier. Davis driving baseline, got the step. In the corner, Miles Davis, in and out. Jalen Reynolds with a rebound, and stick back. When Stainbrook leaves after this season, Jalen Reynolds is going to take a quantum leap forward. But it has to come from him mentally. The physical tools are already there, Gus. We saw it in the last play. Hilliard, and he hits another deep jump shot. 20 to 14, Hilliard, two threes, six points. You don't want to get him started. Sometimes it just takes one for a shooter to see the ball go in. 
to get started. Jalen Reynolds facing up on Jenkins. Tough guard for Jenkins. D. Davis driving to the basket, gets there off the glass, missed it again from point blank range, but the X-Men will hold on. And this is in contest, but Austin Jr. just a little too short for the smooth lefty. Excited, but probably more relieved that now he's feeling the opportunity to do it and knock it in. 6'6", can shoot over most of his defenders. Stainbrook has been quiet. Reynolds on the baseline. Spins, big jump hook, no. Now Hilliard, pick and roll. Gets to the hole, running right hand jump shot, goes down. The versatility, Gus. I mean, he knocks it down with a left hand, and now he's dribbling with he's dribbling with his right penetrating. A nice soft touch inside. Hilliard with eight points. He shoots with his left hand, but does everything else with his right hand. No look past Stainbrook inside. And Stainbrook. Good position, just can't finish. Just the present presence of Ochefu inside. Hillier to score the last eight. Phil Booth jumper. Got it. Jay Wright gave this kid big minutes as soon as he stepped on campus. And it's really paying off for Villanova. He's a big time player. And the Wildcats take a 25 to 14 lead on an 8 0 run. 5.43 to play in the first half. Back to MSG right after this. My pops told his son got a ransom for being handsome. Damn son, you a bag of chips. We talked about the versatility of Hilliard, Darren Hilliard, but showing you a little bit of everything, the three ball, but also the soft floater with the off hand. At 6'6", 215, he can't be denied. And you see the production value that he brings to the tournament here in the Big East Tournament for Villanova, 13 points, 12 points. Such an unselfish player. But timing for him, I think, is everything. And watching that first shot go in, I tell you, guys, it's a game changer for himself, but more importantly, for Villanova. And he's having such a great year, first team all Big East, but it started in the summer. He spent the offseason at the LeBron James and Kevin Durant skills camp, and that's reserved for players who have a shot to make it to the NBA level. Well, you go to a camp like that, and you understand what it means to be a pro and what it's going to take to get to that next level. He has the physical tools, I mean, to get there. So... And tonight, he's putting it all on display. I asked him, I said, did you ever get a chance to guard LeBron or Kevin Durant? He said, yeah. And he, I said, how'd you do? Yeah. He said, not well. <laughs> Welcome Davis. to the party on that one. Rebounded by Josh Hart. Outlet pass to Dylan Ennis in the front court. Young man from Toronto, Canada. Hart inside, lefty up from Javon Pixie. Constant movement, though, Gus. That's the thing that... Villanova is so hard to guard because they don't stand still, whether that's swinging the ball in the perimeter or diving to the basket. They're able to get some easy ones inside. But defensively, they know who to guard. Stainbrook has had a tough go, and he lost it out of play. And once again, inside, you just check out the spacing, and now once you get inside, you're able to dive. you got spacing all across the court. Watch the needle pass and catch and finish offhand. Once again, Josh Hart. 10-0 run in the last two minutes for Nova. Under five to go, 27 to 14. It does, is it me or does it seem that Nova may have six players on the defensive end? Somebody's always challenging at the rim. Baseline, Josh Hart. That's an air ball. Javon Pinkston couldn't hold on. I would agree with you 100%, especially when the ball goes on to the box. Because everybody moves on a string. Okay, if, if, if somebody gets beat off, beat off the dribble, they collapse and close down the lane and make shots extremely difficult to make in close quarters. Jay Wright mentoring under the great Roly Massimino. Jay loves suits. Roly loves shoes, he told us the other night. D. Davis. Far. Nice ball fake. And hits. 
Mm. They need something from far tonight. And I talked about his rebounding, but where he can really impact his game is doing that. Because he can shoot the jump shot that pump fake made the drive available. 27-16. Archie Diakono back in. Ennis. Mm -mm. Hart. That's usually money. Mm -mm. And it is. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, and that goes back to the miscommunication that time by Xavier on the perimeter. You have to be able to know where your shooters are at at all times on the court and communicate. Josh Hart, 4 for 5 from the field. 9 points, 4 rebounds off the bench. He's got a good shot to be the tournament's most outstanding player. If, he ha if it happens, it'll be the first time a six-man was given the award as Stainbrook can't bank it in. Here comes Archie Diakono the other way. And a whistling foul. That's a frustration foul. Stainbrook sends Pinkston to the floor. 3.31 to go, first half. Villanova moving and grooving, as one man from the New York Knicks would say. <laughs> Rob Stone here, welcome you back to Madison Square Garden. Coming up at the half, we'll get you caught up on a busy day in conference play. A couple big time programs cough up big leads, upsets from the Big 12 and the Big 10, plus a buzzer beater from just north of us. Gus Jim, we'll see you at the break. All right, thank you very much, Rob. Our score here, Villanova on top of Xavier, 30 to 16. Time for our Lexus playbook. I talked about the communication on defense or lack thereof for Xavier. And in this play right here, James Farr, because Hart is setting the pick, he has to alert Trayvon Blue to switch. That time, neither one does it. Two guys are now on the basketball. That leaves Josh Hart open. And there's a reason why he wears the number three. Because he can knock it down with the best of them. And Josh Hart off to a big start. We always talked about the young man coming off the bench. Are you ready to play? Well, yes, he's answered the bell each and every time he's been called upon to get you the dynamics on the offensive end. But more importantly, Gus, he can also lock in and play a little deep. And Jay Wright speaking on Josh Hart, leading the team last night. He said, the day he won the six-man award, I called his mom and dad and said, this is because of you guys, the character you built in him. His parents have instilled in him to be the best six-man he can be, and that's what he did this year. It's not about starting, but do you finish the game? What kind of contributions do you bring to the table? And if you accept your role, and then you can excel in. One thing's for sure, he won't be a six-man next year. You better believe it. Archie Diakono. Skip pass, Jenkins. Ennis on the handoff, tries to turn the corner, can't. Jenkins, 18 to shoot for the arch. And Ennis will set it up again. And a foul coming up against Xavier. And that will be on far as he picks up his second. And that foul was called just by the constant movement of Villanova. Dylan Ennis pushes off, and that's an offensive foul. His first. Well, excellent footwork that time by D. Davis, shuffling his feet, beating Dylan Ennis to the spot. Now some three-quarter court pressure by Villanova. Broken easily. What's that press intended to do, or is it a press? Well, it's intended just to break up the monotony, the continuity of the offense. Blew it back in with two fouls, and he steps back, and it's a 16-footer. They certainly need him. He averages 12 on the game. That's his first basket. Now, to Xavier, it's important. You get a basket, you need to follow that up with a good defensive possession. Jenkins shows it, steps, and hits. 
What a pretty stroke. What a beautiful stroke. And, and, I, and I know I sound repetitive, but the ball fake because they're shooters now allows him to get to that mid-range game. And he's strong and able to finish over the top, even though he doesn't elevate as high. Blew it again down the lane. Tried to no-look pass. Broken up by guess who, Hart. And then it's fouled in the front court by Abel. Chris Jenkins always under control. He is. May not be the most athletic, but he can get to a spot. And the art of the mid-range game off the pull-up pure. Sound like somebody I know. <laughs> <laughs> so Dylan Ennis going to the line. Transferred from Rice. We know his brother is Tyler Ennis, the former Syracuse guard, now in the NBA. Three things you know, you need to know about Dylan Ennis. Ah, he likes to write poetry. He'd like to meet Mark Zuckerberg. Basketball trivia. Hmm. I'm a poet. To, I'm at the test him on that one. <laughs> Basketball trivia. I'm at the test him on that one. I'm going to go back deep. Second free throw, good. Largest lead of the game now for Villanova. 34-18 with under two minutes to play. And Miles Davis fouled by Archie Diakono. Touchy touch foul out there, something he wish he could get back. Fifth team foul against the Wildcats. 154 to play. Xavier stuck in the mud. Blew it. And Archie Diakono with another foul. But nothing is easy, Gus. And even on that play right there, a little hip check from Archie Diakono on the perimeter. But when the ball is swung, it's always a Villanova defender right in the face. Never able to really feel comfortable offensively early in this game for Xavier. E. Davis, turn around, jump shot, Reynolds. Loose ball rebounded by Pinkston. He finds Hart. Jenkins on the other side. Now Ennis will get the play from his coach and start over with Hilliard. Inside, Pinkston, nice catch, bump fake, goes up strong, but can't lay it in. Mm. Excellent decision that time by Ennis. Pinkston just couldn't finish. Remy Abel jump shot and rattled it home. That's what they need. First three-point field goal make of the evening for Xavier. And it's a 34-21 game. Jay Wright wants a timeout. 32 seconds remaining in the first half. This is a battle for the Big East Tournament Championship and an automatic bid to the Big Dance. One thing we know is that Kentucky is going to get an overall number one seed. So which of these five teams, Jimmy, in your opinion, with Duke and Virginia losing in their tournaments, will get the other three? Come on, you already know what I'm going to say. Wisconsin. I got, I got a little flavor right here with uh, some people that I know in <laughs> regards to that team right there. But it's still in the air with Arizona and Wisconsin. But if Wisconsin wins tomorrow the Big Ten tournament, uh, I would suspect that they would get in. Now, Nova is already in the position to get that number one seed. Wisconsin, your son plays for Bo Ryan and the Badgers. Shot clock turned off, game clock at 15 seconds. They're picking roll action up top, Gus. Ennis, seven to shoot. 
gets to the basket and lays it in, but he's called for traveling with 4.2 to go. And that's the height and athleticism of Jalen Reynolds right there with the recovery time and out of the rearview mirror, and this can feel Reynolds on his backside. Blew it inbounds it to D. Davis. He'll catch it. Davis in the front court. Davis holds up and it's blocked by Hilliard. And that's the end of the first half. 34 to 21 Villanova. Josh Hart has a game high nine points and also four rebounds. And let's go to Molly McGrath, who's standing by with Jay Wright. Thank you, Gus. Coach, your shooting has gotten better as the game's progressed. How are you getting more open looks? You know what? We're moving the ball pretty well. Um, I think guys are catching the ball to shoot. They're catching, thinking shot, which is good. We've got another half to go. You guys are making it tough on Matt Stainbrook. What's working so well against him? We're trying to keep fresh bodies on him. We've had Javon on him. We've had Chris Jenkins. We've had Daniel Chafu. He's a tough matchup, so as long as we can keep fresh bodies on him, try to keep moving on him. All right, thank you, Coach. Good luck in the second half. Gus. All right, Stainbrook with only two points in the first half on one of five shooting. 34-21, to 21, our halftime score. Villanova leads Xavier. You're watching the Big East Tournament Championship exclusively on Fox Sports 1. We'll send you to our studio and Rob Stone right after this. My recital. I think it's very vital to rock around. That's right. On top. It's tricky. Here we go. To rock around, to rock around. That's right. On top. It's tricky. <laughs> oh, what, what have they gotten us into? <laughs> the good thing is, Jimmy, I don't think Raph would have done that. No, nah, I, I always wanted to do something DMC. That was my That's moment right. right there. That's right. That was our era. Well, halftime score, Villanova. Just what a great basketball team, and they're showing why they're uh, uh, projected to be a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. But not just dominating offensively. It's the defensive end of the court, but two guys that really stand out to me. How about Josh Hart once again? I mean, just six man of the year, just doing it any way he can to the basket. Three-point shooting provides so much off the bench. And what a welcome sight to see Darren Hayward knock out his first three. And why not try it again? These two are tough to stop when they get going, Gus. Now let's look at the at and fast analysis of the first half. Well, we talked about the defensive effort right now for Villanova just smothering Xavier not able to get any open looks knocking down three point shots and also not a lot of free throws were getting there and knocking them down all right let's check in with Molly McGrath thank you guys uh, Xavier's head coach Chris Mack was really frustrated with the play of his big men in the first half he said our big guys have to play better than their undersized guys their pressure is really getting to us we have to break that by driving to the basket and walking back onto the court James Farr had one message for his team he said we have nothing to lose guys all right thank you very much Jalen Reynolds with four points Matt Stainbrook scoreless in the first half Excuse me, two points in the first half. So we start the second half. Xavier with the basketball. D. E. Davis driving. Wraps it around. Abel. And blew it a three. Rebounded by Ennis. Once again, on the perimeter. Perimeter oriented for Xavier, but... Hilliard to the basket. Can't flip it in. Trickles out, picked up by Davis. He finds Remy Abel on the break. Xavier, one of eight from the three-point line. Inside, there's Stainbrook, but he can't lay it in. And, man, has it turned out to be one of those days for Matt Stainbrook. What? You see right here the production or lack thereof from three of their most important players. But on that missed layups right there, at half time, that layup right there, Gus, it's because they've been squeezing so much to try to get some easy baskets that when you have an opportunity, you just can't finish. Matt Stainbrook, one of six from the field. Two points. Davis driving. Left hand off the glass. Short. 
And rebounded by Javon Pinkston in the corner. And D. Davis has missed about three layups right at the rim. When his eyes were on Javon Pinkston that time. Foul coming up. D. Davis, one of six. That foul called on Blewett as he picks up his third. And part of the reason why the bigs for Xavier are struggling, you have outstanding ball pressure on the passer, and also whoever guarding them inside, they're constantly moving, not allowing them to get set in deep post position inside. Josh Hart. No look pass, Pinkston. Hilliard takes a three. <clears throat> Darren Hilliard with 11 points. Villanova with a 37 to 21 lead. D. Davis step back three. In and out. Hilliard with a rebound. Long outlet pass to Ennis. Ennis slices down the lane, lays it up, and draws the foul. Gus, part of being an excellent team is the ability to get out and transition and run, but also passing the ball is a premium on time, on target. You get help, you move the ball around and splash to get open looks. So Dylan Ennis, one more year coming up after this season. This is the free throw. Villanova, though, with a 39 to 21 lead here at the Big East Tournament Championship. Renemy able, unable to finish at the rim. Squirts out. Josh Hart picks it up. He's got Hilliard and Ennis. Archie Diakono for three. How simple can it get for Villanova? Yes, it looks so simple, but the fast break, something you constantly work on in practice all the time. And far, nice pass from Matt Stainbrook. Villanova, though, on an 8-2 start here in the second half. Archie Diakono pick and roll, rising again. I thought that was it right there, just a stroke. Had wrist injury earlier during the season, but has worked it out. Playing with tender ribs in this game. Archie Diakono with the game-winning free throws yesterday against Providence. D. Davis, Euro step, mm. makes it in. That was tricky right there, but that time, eyes up at the rim. Allow D. Davis with the quick move to finish. 42 to 25. So versatile this Villanova team. Archie Diakono is the starting point guard, but they can give it to Dylan Ennis at any time and move him off the ball. Hilliard, short. Blew it. Now D. Davis, and he's fouled. In transition, the trailer is always open, stepping into a rhythm. Jump shot is Archie Diakono and D. Davis. Little nifty footwork right here. Eyes to the rim and Javon beats to put him on skates a little bit. They didn't have that Euro step. I mean, players weren't using that when you played. No, Even they would have called, right? no, called a travel immediately because it was just something foreign to the game at that time. Stainbrook. And he lays it in. Great look from D. Davis. Matt Stainbrook with four points now. 42 to 27, 6 0 run for Xavier. Back to the 1 3 1 defense again. You got to find your shooters, in particular in the deep corners. Bill Booth to a Sheffield back door. Hard up and in. Daniel is Sheffield, the big man. They talked about the passing of Matt Stainbrook, but 
Ochepu, as you see right there, nimble enough to make a nice little touch pass. Dee Davis, the floater inside, goes down, and Davis hits the deck. Comes up a little lame, but he's trying to run it off. He has six. But notice something, guys. On their possessions that they scored, they were able to attack quick against a Nova defense that wasn't set. Davis also, D. Davis with six assists. Now Darren Hilliard and a foul. Fifteen oh one to play in the second half. Hilliard heading to the line. Villanova cruising on top of Xavier, forty-four to twenty-nine. To the Big East Tournament Championship exclusively on Fox Sports 1, presented by New York Life. 44-29, top-seeded Villanova on top of Xavier. And this is Jimmy's favorite time. It's time for our mock selection, folks. Jimmy's got to pick one of these teams to send them to the big dance. Jimmy, who do you like? I'm so frustrated with this right now. I, I thought I you're was, like 0 I thought for I was, 7. I thought I was pretty good at this, but... But you're not very good at it. Well, Jimmy. I'm not, but I'm going to go with the team. I'm going to split it down the middle. Team in the middle, 25 and 8. Are I, you sure? Yeah, I'll, yes, yes. I'm sure. Ah... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Boise State. Selection Sunday is tomorrow. I'm going Jimmy, to Vegas. That's right. You, found, you finally got one right. I'm going to bet in Vegas. Terrific. <laughs> Terrific. 44 to 29, our score. And Darren Hilliard goes to the line. I was talking to Darren. He's a senior before the game. And I asked him, I said, well, what do you think about your prospects, about maybe moving on and playing at the next level? He said, man, that's something I don't think about. I don't want to know about. I told Coach, don't bring it up to me. And when the season is over, um, if there are some opportunities, then great. But in the meantime, I just want to win championships. Uh, you know what kind of maturity that speaks for? To be in the position where you're on the cusp of maybe playing at the National Basketball Association level? And to say you're not thinking about it, you're focused on what's happening now, when a lot of players, their whole goal is just to get to the NBA. Ball turned over and a foul. Part of Matt Steinbrook's problem has been just the constant harassment of the Villanova defense, whether it's Pinkston undersized but strong enough to root Steinbrook out, or even inside when Steinbrook thinks he has a layup. Everything is challenged at the rim, and you never establish rhythm. And even an easy layup like that that you normally would make just doesn't feel comfortable. Matt Stamper, just a terrific college player, but that's where his lack of a certain kind of athleticism affects his game. Booth pulls up off the screen and rips it. We're going to be hearing a lot about this kid from Baltimore, Phil Booth. Cerebral in his approach, methodical in his movements, but assertive when it's time for him to attack off the dribble or when he's stepping back to the jump shot like we just saw. So many great players coming out of the city of Baltimore. Reggie Williams, David Wingate. My man Sam Cassell. Sam Cassell. Don't forget about Melo. That's right. Well, he claims Brooklyn. Well, Brooklyn, b -more. I think b -more claims him. That's right. <laughs> I don't believe it. 48 to 29. And also Muggsy Bogues. What a great player. There's Booth. Pick and roll. He yeah, dribbled it off of his knee, picked up by Miles Davis. Booth, look at him, get back on defense. Miles Davis to the basket and lays it in, though. One of the few times Xavier was able to exploit a turnover by Villanova, get out and run, and ultimately now be able to finish. Davis with four, playing at home from Plainfield, New Jersey. Archie Diakono. Nice look to a chef who can't make the catch. Seven turnovers for Villanova. And we talked about Bill Booth right here, just methodical, but rises above the competition to knock down the three and a rare transition basket in Miles Davis. No one's going to stop me. I'll take a tough two. One of the few times that Nova not able to contest a shot to 
deter an easy two. D. Davis inside, tried to wrap it around, kicked, and Xavier will get it again. As Javon Pinkston comes back in, and he replaces Daniel LaSheffield. And Daniel LaSheffield, if Villanova is to make a run to the national championship game, they are going to need this big man, as well as Javon Pinkston. And my only criticism of Villanova is at times, they don't look for him. And if the three-point ball isn't going down against the likes of Kentucky or Duke or Virginia, it may be trouble. He's the anchor of the defense. He communicates on the back line. He intimidates opponents when he comes to the lane, but he's shown to see defensively right here. Here's Hart driving to the basket off the turnover, and he's fouled. Jay Wright applauding Chris Jenkins for disrupting that play for Xavier, but getting back to Daniel Oshefu and them not looking for him. Oshefu has no attempts tonight, zero for zero. But here's the thing, they didn't need him tonight, but we saw last night the ability for him to score inside. Last night, a chef with one of his best performances of his career. 15 points, 13 rebounds, and a career-high tying five blocks. And he's had some monster games this season. Had the 24-rebound game against Seton Hall, going along with 19 points. He broke out the run and hook a couple times last night as well. He's getting better and has another year left. Inside, nice play as Jalen Reynolds lays it in for Miles Davis. Able to sneak back door, caught Villanova napping on the backside. Largest lead has been 21 points for the Wildcats. Hilger and far with the board. Let's see if Xavier can make a run. 12 minutes to go here in the second half. Miles Davis almost lost it and does lose it. Outlet pass hard ahead of the field and lays it in. Josh Hart with 13. Young man on his way to the most outstanding player award in the Big East tournament. He's six of seven from the field. Five rebounds to go along with his 13 points off the bench. And how about the outlet pass over the head by Pinkston just leading Hart to the basket. And Reynolds again, and he's fouled from behind. Eight points for Jalen Reynolds, 50 to 35. Back to the garden after this. No, watch me shine, watch me shine. Inside the huddle with Chris Mack of Xavier. Offensively, we're starting, we're starting. But we got to make sure defensively we're not trading baskets. We're not trading baskets. We gotta get some stop. You can't be trading baskets. Chris Mack talked about it, but here, he's been in the position before. You go to sleep because you have a big lead, and Darren Hilliard on the backside, falling asleep and not talking about or commu communicating the switch and open Jalen Reynolds. And that's the first of two plays back to back where Reynolds was able to play a little peekable and get a layup inside. You know, Villanova gave up a 13 point lead with 13 minutes to go last night against Providence, but. Chris Mack, unfortunately, he doesn't have Chris Dunn leading the way. But someone has to step up. But as you mentioned, Jim, it starts on defense. It starts on defense. You can't trade baskets. This Villanova team is too good. And talk about getting consecutive stops at two, three positive possessions with scores. Now you can cut into the lead a lot easier. Xavier 0 for 2 from the free throw line tonight. And Jalen Reynolds adds a free throw, so he completes the three-point play. Nine points for Reynolds, 50 to 36. Jenkins, Hilliard, Pinkston, Archie Diakono, Ennis to the basket they go. Off the mark and a whistle and foul coming up, and it will be against Xavier. Because part of understanding the scouting report is knowing that 
Hilliard were turned down the pick and roll to drive right. And you have to be able to take that play away. And breaking down the defense allowed Pinkston to sneak in for an offensive rebound. Inside, Pinkston slips inside, and he's fouled. This time, Reynolds has to come to this side to take that pass away because if Miles Davis gets beat, he has to be the protector, even if it's a half a second to allow Davis to get back that time. Not a good attention to detail by Reynolds underneath out of bounds. Vincent making the first free throw. Javon. 76% free throw shooter on the season. And he gets a pair. Now D. Davis. Ennis flying at it. Inside, great look and a jam for Reynolds who's starting to come on now. 11 points, he had four at the break. Reynolds has played well in the two previous games against Villanova, averaging 15 points that time. Javon Pinkson trying to be too slick and go for the steal. Reynolds has scored seven in a row. Baseline, Hilliard trying to push off. 13 to shoot. Archie Diacono, Ennis from deep. In and out. Tapped by Abel, picked up by D. Davis. D. Davis, the kick, corner, Miles Davis. Just can't knock in those open looks. Archie Diacono, three on the other side, but Dylan Ennis just gliding to the basket. What an athlete, Dylan Ennis. You want to put, you really want to make your coach man transition somebody has to take the ball somebody takes the first pass And D Davis gets to the hole and lays it in plus the foul Inside play Jalen Reynolds talked about the success and that time Javon Pinkston trying to go over the top instead of playing solid defense from behind and in transition, well, off the pick and roll, here's D. Davis using that quickness to get up underneath Javon Pinkston. D. Davis at the line. 8.6 assists, 3 rebounds. And he gets the free throw. Javon Pinkston on the bench now. A shuffle back in. Xavier trying to hang around. Pinkston picked up his third. See if they could get stops. Sheffu. No points for the big man. Backs his way down in the lane. Jump hook no. Gets the offensive rebound in the corner. Dylan Ennis. Fourteen for Ennis. 57 to 41, Villanova. Got a little mismatch inside. Reynolds, Archie Diakon, they'll see if they can locate it before they switch back. And they try to get him, but Archie Diakon, good hands in the passing lane. Booth fouled coming up the floor. That'll send Villanova to the line to shoot one and one. Offensive rebounds this time. Rennie Abel turns his back to Dylan Ennis, able to knock down a three. And D. Davis trying to go for the steal. Feet, feet get tangled up, and Booth takes the blunt of that fall. So Matt Stainbrook coming in. He replaces Abel. So Stainbrook and Jalen Reynolds on the floor at the same time, the two bigs. Bill Booth, six points tonight. Yeah. 
And Jimmy, it's almost like Villanova, they will let you get close, but they always have an answer. It's so difficult when you have a big lead to maintain the, the focus and concentration. And it takes sometimes a spurt, like Xavier was able to go on to kind of snap you back into reality and say, hey, we've got to get back to doing what we were doing to extend the lead. 59 to 41. Austin in the game. Guarded by Booth, two freshmen. Austin driving, pushes off, and a foul on the floor will go against Booth. Second foul on Booth, fourth on Nova. Inside, Stainbrook turns. Tries to get his own rebound, a Sheffu takes it away. Six rebounds for a Sheffu. Just can't seem to get it. That time, Dova has to do a better job of stop bailing out the post players by attempting steals inside and just play solid defense. Fortunately, Nova Biggs have a tough time finishing. Here's a Sheffu poked away by Stainbrook. Ennis on the baseline, 10 to shoot. Hilliard, pump fake, dribble drive down the lane, lost an edge, tied up, possession arrow favors Villanova. Off the pump fake, stayed solid, just lost his footing that time, and a quick timeout and recognition of the Nova players. And it's interesting because quite often you read that some people criticize Villanova for not having great players. And they may not have the most athletic players, Jimmy, but I tell you what, they have guys that really know how to play the game. And that's what's important. May not have a superstar. Hart takes a three. Gets his own rebound to the basket. How about that? Pretty athletic to me. Pretty athletic, pretty headsy, pretty smart, and pretty good. 7-0 run. 61 to 41. Now Miles Davis, fadeaway jump shot. Miles Davis just having a hard time with his jumper tonight. Can't buy a basket. 7.38 to go, all Villanova. And sometimes the three won't go in, but you're taught to follow your shot. I'll settle for the two. If I'm Josh Hart, easy pickings to get to the basket against his Xavier team. The Villanova Wildcats, seven minutes and 38 seconds from claiming the Big East Tournament Championship. Let's take a look at the game summary. Villanova on top of Xavier by 20. It's all about the Nova defense and their ability to knock down shots. And let's go inside the huddle with Jay Wright. Look at how many attacks we've got without even thinking about it, because everybody's rebounding. Everybody's, we'll take that one. That's a good walk. That's a good walk. 61-41. Dylan Ennis has had a great game. And some players just play well against certain teams, and it's the case for Dylan Ennis, averaging 16 points in two games earlier this season, and he's right on track. Five for nine, 14 points, doing a little bit of everything. You talk about those big shoulders, but that big shoulders, he, always, he also has a soft touch from the perimeter. He got the party started early for Villanova. So Ennis playing well, two points last night. Different story this evening. D. Davis, the inbounder. Miles Davis looking to get one to fall. 
tough shooting night for Miles Davis. And right now, one for 11 on the three-point arc. 24-point difference in regards to the made threes of Nova compared to Xavier. Remember, Nova hit 17 threes, tied a Big East record against Marquette. Jalen Reynolds to the hole, and he lays it in hard. 13 points for Jalen. He had four at halftime. Jalen's figured out how to maneuver his way inside and get free and finish. Josh Hart finds a Sheffield. Ball deflected into the hands of Ennis. Hilliard with a screen. Booth spinning. Nice look. And a shuffle gets his first field goal of the night. And Gus, you can tell when you have a well-schooled team, they never get in a rush, Villanova, even when the shot clock is winding down. Davis on the other side. Here's Hilliard to Hart. They turn it over. D. Davis. Crossover dribble, runner, and a foul. Just when you think you got Villanova stopped offensively, the shot clock is going down. But once again, never panicking. Get to a position to make a play. Ochefo inside, able to gather and finish. Moving without the ball, making yourself available. We talked about the high IQ. Ochefo showing it off right there. D. Davis and Jenkins and Pinkston come in. Hart and Booth will sit. Booth with his fourth foul. Sixty-three, forty-five. Davis with eleven had two at the break. Six minutes to go in the Big East Tournament Championship game. Villanova, the regular season champs with only two losses the entire season to Seton Hall and Georgetown, both on the road. Jenkins, pump fake, gets to the hole, and a foul. Four now on far. You guys at the top, I spoke briefly about whether Xavier would be able to recover from the late game yesterday. And you see it manifest itself in being a half a second slow on defense. Mature, not playing, that hurt as well. Uh, some of the turnovers, not being able to get your legs into your jump shot and knock it down. Xavier feels that uh, Makura will have a chance to come back, even if they have a Thursday game in the NCAA tournament next week. Severe sprain of the ankle. And that provides you with the shooter indirectly. If you put him on the same side of Stainbrook, it's tough now to double down. Young man from Minnesota averaged 32 points a game in high school last year. And Archie Diakono almost forced a turnover. D. Davis the other way takes a big three. Way short and a foul inside. And it will go against Chris Jenkins, his second. And that will allow Xavier to shoot free throws one and one. So Jalen Reynolds with 13 points at the line. And he misses the front end. Saved by Blue and right to Ennis. R.G. Diakono in front of him. Ennis, hard drive to the basket. Rejected by Jalen Reynolds, who got all the way back on defense from the free throw line. Oh, and you love to see the hustle late in the game. Things are not going your way. It's easy to stop. But Jalen Reynolds said, I'm still in this game to win. Denying to Ennis to the basket. Mm. 5.23 to play, second half, 65-45, Nova. 
teams, all hopeful, trying to secure the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. But now, we're down to two. It's Villanova and Xavier playing for this trophy, the Big East Tournament Championship here at Madison Square Garden. And right now, the Wildcats are 523 away from claiming the trophy as we take a look at Stuart Mandel, our bracketologist, and how he projects teams in the field from this conference. And you see one, five, five, six. Opportunities here for the Big East to make a stand. I think when you get into the tournament and one team in particular jumps out, that's St. John's. Maybe the best thing that happened was they, wait, they lost. They can get guys healthy because they have the kind of makeup in a one-game series that if they all get hot, they can also make a deep run. That's right. Chris Obekba, their shot blocker and center with a tender ankle. Jamal Branch, a groin injury. Dylan Ennis inside. Pinkston can't hold on. Remy Abel the other way. Blew it inside Jalen Reynolds. He spins. Got it up. Off the back rim. And Villanova will skip down the floor. Ennis inside Pinkston, and he lost it again. At two times in a row, I think Pinkston was into his move before he was able to gather and catch and finish. The play was there. A little quick on the trigger that time. And Hilliard with the steal. Uh, he's tied up by D. Davis, but Xavier, by virtue of the possession arrow, will get it again. A sense and feeling by how the Xavier team plays in particular now you're up there but you're out to prove a point the hustle is still there on the defensive end you're still scrapping and diving for loose balls you're playing for something bigger I got a real good sense of that right now from this team Booth call for the foul that's his fifth and he's out of here and that will send D. Davis to the line. Booth frustrated. But I tell you what, this kid is excellent ball player. Accepted his role. Doesn't turn the ball over. Hits timely baskets. Finds the bigs inside. He may be the best interior passer of all the guards on this Villanova team already. And the thing you look for in a backup point guard is his effect when he's on the floor. Do you lose anything? Okay, when Phil Booth is on the floor, you know you're comfortable that the machine will continue to operate at a high level. Sean O'Mara has checked in for Xavier. Booth with a smile. D. Davis, 12 points. Sixty-five to forty-seven. Full court pressure now by Xavier. Archie Diakono quickly. Baseline, Jenkins. And once again, never panicking. Hart slashing across the lane. Tried to dump it down, and he was right at the rim. Yeah, put it up. Put it up. Even if you miss, Ochefu was in a, in a situation where he can get the offensive rebound. Davis. Baseline. Inside O'Mara. Nice layup. Press on again. Here's Josh Hart. To take his time now and find Hilliard. Uh, Xavier backs off. Archie Diakono 
inside of Sheffield, great position and an easy layup. And that set the play all the way up, lifting the weak side to be able to get the lob over the top. Excellent position by Sheffield inside. Romero lost it and out of play. Last touch by the Wildcats. 321 away, the Villanova Wildcats with a 67-49 lead. All right, thank you very much. 67 to 49, Villanova leading Xavier. Time for our New York Life Keep Good Going stat. Well, you see the three players that are getting in good work, but the beauty about this Villanova team, that it could be Archie Diacono, Jeff Fu, Pinkston one night. It, it's a litany of versatile players that can always step up, and that's why they're so difficult to guard. Villanova on a 14-game winning streak. A school record. 31 wins this season. And with the losses to for Duke and Virginia last night, the Wildcats are all but sure of a number one seed in the NCAA tournament, especially if they can hold on for the final 320. And this is when you want to be playing your best basketball at the end of March. The rhythm is there, the timing is there, the confidence is there, and we talked about the versatility in this team. Seven different players have led the team in scoring this year alone. Blew it inside, and Hart pulls it down. And for all their success, Villanova has had in Jay Wright's 13 previous seasons, this is the Wildcats' first Big East championship game in that time. In fact, it's the first time in 18 years that Villanova has played in the title game. You, you would assume that it's been multiple championships won by this Nova team under Jay Wright. Conference much different now. No Syracuse, no Louisville, no Pitt, no Connecticut. Ennis across the lane on the hop, jump hook, and he's fouled. Nineteen ninety five, the last time they won it. Let's take a look at the all tournament team back then. Ray Allen, Austin Crozier, Gary Kittles played for Nova, Jason Lawson. That guy Iverson was pretty good. I, I had the chance, of course, because I played for twelve teams. I played with Gary. <laughs> I called him Skittles and I played with AI in Philly his second year. What was he like being around? I loved it, man. I mean, at the bottom line, I don't care if he was hurt, tired, or whatever it was, he played. Never missed a game. The heart and soul. You say what you want about the other stuff, but when it came to get on the dance floor and, and do some things, he always showed up. Here's Ennis. Big night for Dylan Ennis. 16 points. And Villanova, 69-49. Austin. Look at the hustle. The hustle is still there by Villanova. <laughs> Almost coming up with a turnover. Well, you, it, for guys not to check out when you're up big, in particular on the defensive end, guys love to shoot the ball. But it's the defense that takes the extra effort. And you're talking about winning a championship. You get the Big East under your belt. And that's the kind of hustle and play and determination that can lead you to a Final Four. Blew it, driving, left hand short, and Wildcats have it again. And talk about efficiency with Villanova. They lead the Big East in both offensive efficiency, that's points per 100 possessions, and defensive efficiency, points allowed per 100 possessions. Because they take pride in shutting down their opponents, but also in the offensive end, Gus, they're accurate with their shooting. They don't turn the ball over, and they take pride in setting their teammates up to get easy looks. Their fans know it now. Here's Hilliard for three. Austin slipping on the midcourt line. Hilliard picked it up. Archiacono diving. Wow. With 136 to go, up by 20. Look how these guys are still playing. A lot of players would have bailed out at that moment knowing the game was well in hand. And why risk getting injured and... We already talked about Archie Diacono and the issues he's having with his rib, but do you think that matters right now, Gus? 
young kids at home that are watching this talking about they want to play big time college basketball. Woo! This is how you get it done. So Pinkston and Hilliard, two seniors coming out of the game. Archie Diakono stays in. 128 to go. Able jump shot, no good. The Villanova Wildcats closing in on a Big East tournament championship to go along with their regular season championship. As they take their time now, one minute away. And a traveling violation. That will allow Ryan Archie Diacono to come out and hug his coach. Josh Hart as well. Henry Lowe will get in. Super sub. Hugs and smiles on the Villanova bench. What a season for the Wildcats. Now they want this kid to score. Henry Lowe, a wonderful teammate. Hard worker, great student. Gets to the bucket. In the corner. In and out. Oh, 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 oh. And that was Patrick Farrell. Now James Farr. Thirty-six seconds to go as Lowe brings it up the floor. And they'll slow it down and allow the clock to run out. Everything you come to expect from the Big East Tournament, Gus. The range of emotions. Listen to the crowd showing their appreciation for the Villanova Wildcats. Jay Wright looking for his first Big East Tournament championship. And he's got it. The Villanova Wildcats are the 2015 Big East Tournament champions. Sixty-nine to fifty-two, the final. Villanova now thirty-two and two on the season. Sixty-nine fifty-two, the final. All right, Don, thank you. The celebration continues here at the world's most famous arena. Darren Hilliard, Javon Pinkston, Josh Hart, all enjoying Villanova's first Big East tournament title in two decades. They burned that. They played, they played an absolutely great game tonight. They played a team game. They've been mature. Held their poise. Time to let it go, right, Donnie? It's just awesome to, to cap it off the way you started this season. This was a game that Xavier only led for 23 seconds to uh, quote a certain tagline from an office supply chain. That was easy for Jay Wright and company tonight. You know, we talk so much about the pressures that teams feel all season long. And, and Jay Wright, so cool about the way he handled that pressure because without a doubt, Kev, you know this team was feeling it getting to this point again. Think about last season. It creeps into your head because you were here already before, but they really, like you said, they handled themselves perfectly. I thought the job Jay did coaching this team in this game was phenomenal. Phenomenal. All season long, without I, question. The way that they attacked Xavier's zone and spread them out, 
and knock down threes. And then defensively, I thought they were fantastic guarding the post. They got around every single time. They were aggressive. They dominated the game. And you got to, I got to be honest with you guys. As a player, you come into this game thinking this is your time to shine. This is your time to go get yours, so to speak. They did not do that, guys. No. They played together. This is the epitome of team basketball. That's what we saw in this game. Dylan Ennis all smiles there. Ryan Archidiakono in the background throwing things out to the fans. Remember that conversation we're having in the pregame? Is Villanova a number one seed? That conversation is over. <laughs> they are absolutely a number one seed. They will most likely be your second number one seed. They will be placed awfully favorably in either the south or the east. And for Jay Wright and this Villanova program, the only other time they've been a number one seed in the NCAA tournament, 2006. They made it to the Elite Eight, lost to Florida, who went on to win the national title. And just listen to this crowd here at Madison Square Garden. and the coaching staff assembling around our Gus Johnson for the presentation of the hardware. Villanova improves to 32-2. and two. They are your Big East Tournament winners. Here's Gus Johnson. All right, thank you very much. Folks, first of all, how about a nice hand for all the schools that participated in the 2015 Big East Tournament. And ladies and gentlemen, here to present the 2015 Big East Tournament Trophy, the Commissioner of the Big East, Miss Val Ackerman. Thanks, Gus. I want to congratulate our runner-up, the Xavier Musketeers, and all of our schools for a great tournament and a great season. And I want to thank this amazing garden crowd. You're the reason why this is still the most exciting tournament in college basketball. And to the Villanova Wildcats, to Father Peter Donahue, Vince Nicastro, Bob Stites, Coach Jay Wright, these outstanding young men. Congratulations to you. You did a tremendous job. You're the 2015 Big East Men's Basketball Tournament champion. The Villanova Wildcats champions of the Big East. We're here with the head coach of the Villanova Wildcats. We like to call him GQJ because he's always so smooth. Coach Wright, I'm looking at Dylan Ennis' shorts, and he's got blood all over them. And to me, that's a perfect example of the way your team has competed and been unselfish this entire season. Thank you, man. That means a lot coming for you. We, we love hearing you call these games. We love being here at Madison Square Garden in Nova Nation. Thanks for coming out to the Garden Nova Nation. What is it about this team, Coach Wright, that has allowed you to go through this season only two losses? When I see them, they're so unselfish and they really like playing with each other. I, I think it starts with our seniors, Javon Pinkston and Darren Hilliard. They're, they're our leaders. Uh, Javon, Javon has really given up of himself this year. I was really thrilled for Javon to come back to New York his hometown and play like this and as you like to call him Bethlehem Steel is great he's they're just great senior leaders and that it trickles down it wasn't easy for you here at this Big East tournament Providence gave you a run for your money yesterday Xavier came in ready but when it was all said and done your team prevailed this is this is the best college basketball tournament in the country because of the teams in the Big East and uh, this this Big East conference is the best basketball in America and the teams we played here we, we play all year we know how good they are I think uh, Xavier's a little short-handed they, they, lo they lost one of their guards tonight but I want to 
compliment Xavier on a great run, man. They're, they're a great team, and we're going to have six. I hope we have six teams in the, big, in the NCAA tournament. Big East is going to be strong. Villanova, they've won the regular season tournament. Now you win the Big East tournament. You said you just wanted to focus on these championships, but now that you are the champion of the conference, do you deserve a number one seed? I think we do. I think we do. I do. I'm not, I'm not good at picking those seeds, but winning the Big East, I think, should do it for you. How about Villanova? Now, it's time to recognize the most outstanding player of the Big East Tournament. And we're getting ready to experience history. A six-man has never won the most outstanding player award at the Big East Tournament, but we're seeing it for the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Hart, the most outstanding player. Josh, Josh, how were you able to focus all season long, coming off the bench and being able to come into the game and be as effective as you were throughout this entire season? I got to attribute all that to my teammates, man. They, they've been through me through my highs and my lows, man. They, they give me all the confidence in me that I need. Coaches have trust in me, man. I just got to thank this program for everything they're doing for me. Now, Jay Wright credited your parents with being able to give you the kind of attitude and the kind of character that could be unselfish enough to come off the bench and play your role. How about mom and dad? Yeah, thank you, mom. Thank you, dad. I know y'all up there. Thank you, guys, man, for everything y'all do for me. I love you guys. Thank you. I can't, I can't say nothing but thank you. You guys mean the world to me. And as you look forward to the NCAA tournament and a possible number one seed, where do you think this Villanova team is going when they head into the tournament next week? Well, we're going to have to see. It's going to take one at a time. We're just going to build on one win after another, and then we're just going to see what happens. So, One thing's for sure, folks. He will be a six-man next year. Josh Hart, congratulations. The Villanova Wildcats, champions of the Big East. Now let's go to Rob Stone. All right, Gus, thank you. Very little doubt that your most outstanding player would be Josh Hart. He led the Wildcats in scoring in their quarterfinal matchup with Marquette. He had 20. Did it again the next night, dropping 18 versus.